believe that it's not where you start, but it's where you finish. Hello, my name is Leon Stubblefield, and my start happened when I was born in York, Nebraska, in the women's penitentiary. Growing up, I faced many challenges and a lot of adversity. I lived with my father until the age of four when he had passed away. After he passed, I went to live with my aunt and uncle. They opened their home to me. They took care of me and did everything they could do to make sure my life was normal. I was first introduced to the Boys and Girls Club when I was five years old. My aunt and uncle wanted me to interact with kids and play games in a fun, safe environment. I loved playing with the other kids. I liked the staff members. I lived with them until I was nine. Then my mother was released from jail. I loved my mom, but at the point, at that point, I did not know what she was really like. She had been in jail since I was born, and I was not too excited to leave my aunt and uncle's house. Living with my mom was different from living with my aunt and uncle. While they stressed the importance of importance of education, my mom was too lenient. I developed bad habits, and my mom was also struggling with addictions. I lived with my mom for more for one year before she was in more trouble with the law. I was forced to live with my grandma. She had simple rules, and she even enrolled my brother and I back into the Boys and Girls Club. Three years later, my mother was released from jail. I was living with my grandma and doing well. My mom even stayed with us. However, later that year, I stopped seeing her come home. She had went to a rehab center. I really got the chance to talk to her. When summer arrived, my mother told me we were moving to Grand Island. I did not know how to react to that information. I believe in all my good friends and family, plus I already had doubts based on what we had been through before. At first, Grand Island was very tough. I had no friends, but eventually I adapted and started to fit in. However, my mother's behavior started to dwindle. She would leave for extended periods of time. At one point, I had to sell some of my shoes to survive. I felt like I was living on my own. There was a point where I came home to see that we had been evicted. I had no clue what to do. My mother and I were homeless. I stayed with friends and family until we eventually found a home. That was one of the most embarrassing and discouraging experiences I ever had to go through. Going into my sophomore year of high school, I was not focused. My mother and my mother seemed as if she did not care what I did. She was in more trouble and I was left to fend for myself again. I was even questioned by detectives about where she was. She had let me down. Ultimately, I called my aunt and uncle to see if I could live with them. Thankfully, they said yes. Once I was back with my aunt and uncle, I had to refocus because they were not going to accept anything less. They turned me around completely. I went from excessive tardiness and absence to having perfect attendance. I went from a 2.3 GPA to a 3.8 in two consecutive years of honor roll. I could not have done this without the help of my family and the Mountain Boys and Girls Club. With their help, I was provided a nice quiet place to do homework. I was able to interact with other children, and it has given me experience in the career field I would like to pursue, which is one day to become a teacher. The Boys and Girls Club staff has always been reliable. I could always turn to them for advice, help on homework, and any other resources they had to offer. This year as a senior, I have continued to do my best. That's propelling me to being accepted into two colleges, ultimately deciding on the University of Nebraska and Lincoln. I plan to major in, major in education, with plans to become a teacher and a therapist. I will be an advocate for children that come from tough backgrounds, but do not let it stop them from where they want to go. I will be someone they can talk to, reserve, receive encouragement from, and advice. I want to help kids like the adults that helped me get to where I am when I needed it the most. Adults like my school administrators, the Boys and Girls Club staff, and most importantly, my aunt and uncle. So it is not where you start, but it's where you finish. I am nowhere near finished. I am just beginning my journey. I will finish strong this part where I started.